live? Yes, we're live. Hello, Corrupt. Are you there? We're live. Oh, and our first guest is here. Now, we weren't going to start with our first guest right away. We were going to, you know, how we do, get to know each other, say a little words, say a little what's up, y'all. Let me try to show y'all what I got on. Little sweater thing going on, my little red hairs. Are you there, corrupt? Now, I'm just gonna let in the the man of the hour, you know, and we can get started because our surprise guest has a date tonight. Hey, Rusty Kundiv, Kundiv, please. Teach me how to say your name. Oh, there you go. How do I say your name? How do you say your name? Rusty Kandif, Rusty Kandif, Rusty Kandif. If. Kandif. Rusty Kandif. I put my red hair on for you, man. How you doing? You put a red hair on for you. My co-host is not in right now. So I figured, why not let you in? Why not get started? Now, we have a surprise guest for you. Someone I know you love. For me? Yeah, someone I love, I know you love. Okay. She got a date tonight. So she's on a date. So we're going to get all up in our business and figure out all the what ifs, who, what's, what nots. So, okay. first of all, everyone, welcome to the forum. It's for you. I want to introduce you to our guest for the night, Rusty Kandif. Kandif, yes. Rusty, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying as much as I can to talk with the, this thing on. I have a thing on. Uh, you got a thing on? What yeah, you want to do? I, I had a tooth pull. So until uh, oh. I have it, I have this flipper. It's called a flipper on. Okay. Now, Rusty, I want to take you from the beginning because I really want to get in your head. You are one of the most incredible, one of the most, one of the most talented people I have ever met. You started a whole, I would like to say, genre of black film, horror film, black horror film, when you did Tales from the Hood. So people may not know that you executive produced uh, or you show ran Black Jesus. And my favorite- Only the third season. Only the last season. Well, my favorite thing about you is that you were a seminary student. Like, I don't think people know that. So I want to take it back to your origins, your roots. I don't even know if you guys know who he is, but we about to get to know right now. So Rusty, where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. And... <laughs> Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is just, you know, it's just East Coast, Midwest kind of, you know, back in the day, black people and white people. That was it. Okay, so um, I think they got a couple of Mexicans and Asians now, but oh, you, you know, now, back then. but yeah, back then, no. So <laughs> were you then. a child prodigy? Did you like know you wanted to be a director? Were you showing I, I knew I was I knew I wanted to be in um entertainment i mean i you know i was an actor first and actor and stand-up comedian first so i did, plays, I did what? yeah that that's really what how i kind of got started really well talk about stand-up. that how old were you then uh a lot younger than i am now <laughs> okay so when did you get 18. to seminary school that's where i'm really well, okay what well, i wasn't a seminary student i was a philosophy of religion major at now, uh, university of southern california what is the difference because it's for us, Those well, of us when you go into the seminary you really are studying to be a a, a reverend or a pastor or okay. something i just had an interest um i i I was always interested in philosophy and I was always interested in religion, though I'm not religious, but I'm I'm not really, but I'm really interested in religion because you learn a lot about people and their culture and who they are by looking at uh, what they believe. And then from a philosophy standpoint, you know, philosophy deals with all the questions of, uh, you know, 
who am I? Why am I here? How, what do I do to be a good person? You know, all these kind of questions. When is it right to kill? When is it not right? You know, all of these kind of questions. So philosophy deals with that. Philosophy of religion deals with those same questions, but just from the, the, the base of you have some type of uh, religious faith or doctrine that you're dealing with. And it doesn't matter if it's Christianity, right. Buddhism, right, right. Judaism, right, right. any of them. It just kind of starts from there. So uh, as a philosophy of religion major, I would kind of look at, you know, you would look at these questions, you know, like I said, based on whether it was a, a kind of a Buddhist kind of vibe, a Christian vibe. And then even within Christianity, all the different, um, when you're dealing with Catholicism, Protestant, uh, the Protestants, the, uh, the Baptists, the, all, they all break down the doctrine that they find in the Bible, that their theologians write about from the Bible. They all have different interpretations of really? it. I mean, like wildly different interpretations of it. Like, hey. for example, oh, yeah, who's this? Is this corrupt? corrupt. Yes, all right. daddy. Yeah. All right. This whole dog pound day. Yeah, there yes. you go. <laughs> Do you know, Rusty, Rusty, this is corrupt, corrupt, Rusty. I know I'm who corrupt, corrupt is. Do you know? I know who corrupt is. is. Right on. Uh oh. You, you, you mute it, though. You mute it. Well, take the mute off. Take off the. Okay, you took it off. Can you hear me now? I took it off, but I, I still can't hear, Can hear him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. There it is. Now I hear him. Now I hear him. <laughs> Rusty directed me, and you know, I did Friday and um, was it Tales from the Hood at the same exact time? I booked them like within the same week. So, Rusty and. So, wow. you know, Tales from the Hood, the movie, the classic. I'm on, I'm on the soundtrack. Okay, so that's you, right. You gentlemen know each that's other. Old school, I'm like, old school dog pound. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Rusty was just breaking down to us the whole philosophy of religion. And I was surprised to hear that they don't have some underlining similarity. Some underlining they got similarities. They do have similarities, but they have things that, that make them very different in how their theologians interpret interpret scripture in the bible so here's an example um in in the protestant and i don't even know that a lot of protestants or presbyterians know this but the way their theologians break down for example christ coming down being crucified and going up to heaven the way they break that down is you're getting into heaven no matter what fucked up foul shit you do. Right. Those gates have been open. You got nothing to stop you. There's other religions where their theologians are like, no, 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 that's not the case. You still got to be a good person. You got to do this, that, and the other thing. So, uh, and, and then, you know, Catholic religion has certain stuff that, that their theologians kind of say, like, for example, during uh, the war with Germany, the, with Hitler, they tried to get the Pope to write a letter to Hitler saying, you're bad. He didn't want to do it. Why is that? Because in the Catholic religion, all power comes from God. So if Hitler's in power, and it's God's God will. put him there. And right. for the church to say that he shouldn't be there, that creates a problem right. with their theology. So there's right. all kind of interesting stuff when you start God to break goes, down. As huh? far as God goes, even if it's not a monolithic or, or whatever, you call it a uh, one worshiping God um, religion. As far as God goes, is there an underlining similarity in all religions that there is one? Yeah, I mean, in some, I mean, you know, like when you start to get into kind of Buddhist stuff, they're, they're not looking at, they don't, they don't look at that the same way a Christian or a, or a, a Jewish person would look at God. It, it, it's a very different, a very different relationship. Um, you know, it's not a being in the sky and all that, or you know, that that kind of thing out there. So they they all, I mean, you know, and then then you get into uh, uh, 
<clears throat> Muslim theology. I mean, it, everybody's got their thing. So I, I, I guess the only thing that you could say that the commonality of, of at least religions that are looking at, I wouldn't say Buddhism, um, but that are looking at this God creature that either created something or that they're praying to, that would be the commonality. Right. And then everything starts to go crazy. Okay. <laughs> you know what's crazy, but see, this is the thing though, Russ. If you concentrate on all different kinds of religions, you drive yourself nuts. The only thing to concentrate on is what is your religion and make sure that you do what you're supposed to do in that religion. You can't talk about the Muslims. It's just like the Pope. He can't tell Hitler he's bad and shit. It's not the Pope's job. That's right, God's right, job. Right, right. <laughs> well, that's that's exactly what the Pope believes. And so what it, I guess what Corrupt is asking is, what did it mean you? It goes for the Pope. That goes for the Muslims. That goes for the Jamaicans. It goes for the Arabs. It goes for Dr. Frankenstein. It goes for anyone. <laughs> you know, so did it make my you be the best I can be one? under my religion. I'm Baptist. What? Okay, Baptist. Yeah. And what are you, right. Rusty? Are you? I'm nothing. So you're, you're but you're not an atheist. I, I was raised. I was raised Presbyterian, but like I just have my own way of dealing with it. So doing all that study, did it make you see God more mental than spiritual? And and now you're more of a realist, or how do you think? Because corrupt. I I, 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 I would say major. I would say this. I would say this, and um, I have a I have a spirituality based on kind of how I view the world. Right. But I don't consider myself a Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, anything. Right. But I have a spirituality on how I view the world and how I view people in humanity. Right. And and, and, that, and that's what I would say. Okay. That's what so I would say. From college, how did you end up in a Spike Lee joint? <laughs> Probably the same way you before, ended up in my movie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we go further, because I heard about the directing, right? But you are actually in film. Yes. I'm sorry, what? I mean, what? You're an you actor. Said it was a well. stand up oh, comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because I've seen you before. <laughs> in school right. days. So you were doing whoa, stand up whoa, comedy. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, Big Brother Almighty. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Big Brother Almighty, John stop Carlos it. Esposito. Stop it. Yep, stop yep. it. Here it is. School days. So, okay, <laughs> you and you were a stand-up comedian. Yep. And then you ended up in a Spike Lee joint somehow. Okay, so so yeah, out of college, I started doing stand-up and and acting, you, so you know, going what, out on what auditions. Do like with you, this this, I mean, major that you had. How did that- Must be a religion? Well, I had three major. I, I graduated with three majors. I, okay. I graduated with um, in drama, philosophy, oh, okay. religion, and um, uh, what was the other one? Journalism. Okay. So right. <laughs> so there's nothing you can do with philosophy or right. religion. That's what I'm other like, okay, philosophize. so it makes sense <laughs> that you ended up as a stand-up comedian and- yeah. You got discovered by Robbie Reed. Well, for for the, so Robbie knew me. In fact, I knew Robbie from when she there's there used to be what's well, still there. There's a place called Inner City Cultural Center, um, just off of Pico, down towards the hood, oh. that was like a hub for a lot of black actors uh, when I was kind of first coming up. And you know they would do stand-up shows there. There were all kind of plays there. Glenn Turman came through there. Art Evans came through there. Everybody, right, came, right. you know, it was a a real hub. Or Kim Fields, all these people. Okay. So they were all you you know everybody circulated. So Robbie, um, she used to work the booth. She would do the lights and stuff for some of the shows down there. So that's where I first knew Robbie from. Okay. And then she became a casting director. And so she knew me from stand up. She knew that I, I was an actor. Um, you know, I had been on Days of Our Lives for a year by the time I did School Days. Oh, big brother Chucky, cuz. That's right. right. So you, you was right there at the table talking about, yeah, man. So you know, uh, that, that, what the fuck? That's big brother Chucky, cuz. Okay, so you <laughs> pledged in college, right? I did pledge. You did? Yeah, pledge? I, pledged, I pledged Alpha. 
Huh? Oh, you did pledge. You're yeah, an alpha I pledged man. alpha. Okay, yeah. so why did you choose alpha? You know, my dad was an alpha. So I'm, I'm, I'm like the I'm like the unfrattiest frat motherfucker ever. Right. <laughs> like, so how my dad, you? my dad was frat, right. and so I just kind of went that way. And I love my frat brothers, but if, if it wasn't for my dad, I probably wouldn't have pledged. So was your frat pledging experience anything like school days? It was very much like school days. <laughs> that's what that's what, what pledge it is. What did you USC? Uh oh, my University uh, yeah, 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 okay. So, so like, yeah, oh. so you know, you got you got you got the paddles, you had the crazy ass sessions, you did the marches, you know, all the uh, uh, all that, all that, you did all, you that, did stuff. all that, you did all that in the movie, yes. Yeah, yeah, we we stepped, hell yeah, we stepped. And you know, you 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 battle it out with the other frats. That's all that's all what it was. Right. And what so, about the girl aspect? Cause that's like an iconic scene with you know Teacher Campbell licking his hair. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know nothing about anybody licking anybody's hair parts. Okay. I ain't even. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't but, speak to that. One of the guys that kind of got a little something too when he walked out. That wasn't you. You talking okay. about in the movie? Yeah, in the movie. Uh, what part of the in movie? The movie what everybody had about? like their little. <laughs> Everybody had all all the brothers had their little kind of girlfriend. It was a baby. Which one was, hey, which one was yours, Whitley? No, 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 no. Mine was okay. One so of let's yeah, let's get real. Let's talk about that film experience because we his all girlfriend heard. was Jasmine Guy. No, that was mine. Her. That was mine. And I, <laughs> my, my, mine was one like of the twins. Film. So I know oh, Mike has a process. How oh, they was you that school like days process? process? I know some. Yeah, what was that like? I mean, that was an all-star. It made yes. so many. It One did. of my favorite actors right now today is Big Brother Mike Almighty. Oh, I see oh, Carlos, amazing. So many different films. Yes. That was just he was he played so much like right. he played a Puerto Rican man. Yeah, no, he, John Carlos is was amazing. Right. So. So when we okay, so I'll I'll try and set it up. It's like this. So how'd you get the part? That? Like eighty? Huh? Thing. You went in and read for Spike for the part. I went in. I read for Robbie. Every all the guys that were in um, G5G read the part that John Carlos got. So we all read for Big Brother Almighty. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then, and then uh, Robbie called up. And she's like, "Oh, you know, you you." You're in the movie. So we all thought we were Big Brother on my team, <laughs> but we weren't. <laughs> so then, no, uh, then she's like, you get you get to go meet Spike. Um, and, you know, that was like the final thing. So, you know, Spike was up at the what is, oh, the Chateau Marmont. So they're like, you're going to go to the Chateau Marmont and meet Spike. So, we, you know, go up there. You go in the, go in the room. He met each person individually. And Spike was just... He was so damn cool. I mean, he was like so hyped about this movie. And he's like, yo, we're getting ready to do this shit. They don't know what they did. Give me this money. <laughs> I was right, like, okay, right, Spike, right, I hear you. Right. He's like, this shit's going to be crazy. <laughs> I was like, I didn't have to audition. Right, I was just right. like listening to Spike. So he's like, you're going to be Big Brother Chucky. This shit's going to be great. <laughs> like, all right, man. All right. So then is like, we shot it in Atlanta, right? So most of us, a, a lot there was a few people coming from new york like uh kadeem hardison and a lot of the fellows came out of new york and some of the uh some of the girls that you know that played the jigaboos they came out of new york and then most most of the g5gs and gamma rays were coming out of la i don't know what that says about anything okay. but that's what that <laughs> shit was what and i can remember <laughs> I can remember being on a plane because we were all on this big ass plane together. And, and you got to think it was like because because I, I was in Hollywood Shuffle, too, and we had already shot that. Oh, but there Robert, been, yes. Yeah, but there I had to be a lot of black Nigga, stop. Pause, Jacob. <laughs> Where's my yeah, bitches? Yes. Where's my yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I, I was one of the zombie pimps. Roy Fagan was like the one saying that shit. But I was one of the zombie pimps who were walking around. 
Okay. So it gets better. It's better. Yeah, it gets better. So so we we we're on this plane, and the thing is, it was like there just hadn't Wait been a minute, lot of black. Rusty, you gotta hold up. Angela. Oh, you got Angela? Angela is in the house. Oh, so it's not a surprise. I forgot we sent you the rundown. Angela. Oh, hey. oh yeah. Okay, oh, is that? Hey, pretty girl. How you doing? Hey, gorgeous lady. Do you know corrupt? Corrupt daddy? Well, I know who corrupt is. <laughs> well, hello. Hello there. Oh, yeah. You you know, you did a song with my son, Emil Gibbs, uh, in Merck Park, you did something with Gonzo, and my son was the producer on that. Is that right? That's right. Oh, world. what I tell you, Paula? Small Isn't it? World. See? Well, I invited Angela on. I, I want to hold that thought, Rusty, but Angela got a hot day. So okay. Angela is doing it right Rusty. at 50 years old. Hey. Right. Hey, Angela. Are you 50 yet? Are you not yet? Girl, you know what? I'm past 50. No, you're not. Been past 50. <laughs> but you know, I'm holding on tight now. Girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean hey. you never know. I'm, I'm trying to be corrupt, like for real. <laughs> I mean, hello. So, do okay, you know no, I'm not. You? I'm, an angel. I'm an angel, you know. Do you know this guy? I mean, is it a blind date or... Have you been? Oh out? no, I know him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say this right here, right here. Um, he's a young man. Oh, but he's been like Boy. on me. He's been on me, and he's a gentleman, and he's a king. And I'm just gonna ride it out. I'm gonna ride it out. Hello. Ah. Oh. <laughs> been up for riding it out. Yeah, right? it up. <laughs> yes, Why Lord, no. so Rusty was telling us about his experience on school days. Oh but wait, I gotta re—I gotta rewind, Paula, because well, I met Angela. She probably she should remember this. Like I remember this. years ago. Yes, and her mom had a theater. Okay, well, we so had it together. Knows, I if anyone doesn't know. Let's okay. Let's get Angela in here. You're such a gentleman, Rusty. I love you to death. So Angela's mom is the famous Marla Gibbs, and Marla I really Gibbs. Want oh, to, wait, pause, oh, Jacob. Oh. oh my God. See, you know what? This is bullshit. This is oh. Hollywood royalty. And <laughs> when we talk about legacy, right, right, legacy. And let me say this. Let me say this. Let me put this out there while we while we you know got a moment. My mother is getting a star on the Walk of Fame, July 20th. And by the way, her star, she won her star between Snoop and Anthony Anderson, and is right next to Snoop's star. Snoop, yes. Mahalia Jackson, Marla Gibbs. Yes. Right next to Mahalia nice. Jackson. Yes, ain't got good it's money, no. too. Uh, so I gotta put that out there. But but Rusty, me and my mother and I, I actually started the theater. My mother was doing the nightclub and Rusty came in and directed something. I mean, God, I we were in to, our 20s. I was in my you, 20s. I, you know, I used to do stand up at your mom's nightclub. You did? Yep. When Ronaldo okay. Ray wasn't there, I would come in and do stand up. I opened up for a whole bunch of jazz people. But when I was at your theater, now that I know it's your theater, well, it's and I, I'm just well, going to this because she's that. about to go on a date. Right. See? Where she didn't know because I had a crush on wait. Angela, and Angela just was like, nah. Shut it down. Now, also, you now, also, lying, Rusty. You I ain't lying. lying. Why you would I lie about me. that? You didn't hit on me. You didn't tell me. I didn't uh, know. I he's telling know. he's telling you now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and another thing. Okay, so check this out. Let's go to the fans by by letting them understand who we're talking about. Because I don't. Everybody is not original. Right, okay. right, right. They don't know. We some <laughs> our fans might not understand. Uh -huh. Is that's right. right. That's right. They don't know about the Jeffersons. They don't know about all the classic ass. Motherfucking shit. 
that Marla Gibbs has brought to this table, how she Please. changed ways of Wait black a acting in, 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 in all I the ways see. that Marla Gibbs, your mother. Okay. Can y'all see that? They you meme know. her. This says- Yeah, they know. Your, what's it say? Your oh, grandma your looking grandma, down from heaven watching you cook chicken in the air fryer. Okay, so let's start from there, Angela. How was it being a little girl with a mother that was so famous. I mean, well, no, that's see, that's the misnomer. My mother, she looked young. Okay, there's a whole lot. My mother's got a book coming out, by the way, called Never Too Late. Never too but late. But my mother Never was too 44. Late, Marla Gale. She was 44 when she got on TV. I was in college. Good I didn't grow up with it. her on TV. We grew up in Detroit. Oh, look at that. Detroit look at that. That's City in house. Wait a minute, That's mom right. started at 44. For all of you out there who think you too old, to whatever, mom started at 44. 44. She moved out here from Detroit. That's my home. Three kids, left my stepdad, was working United Airlines and, you know, going out on auditions. I was auditioning. I left because I didn't think, she teases me because I was acting first, but she, I left because it, hey, it was the Black Power Movement. You know, I went to Africa, I changed yes. my name to Utamu. And I felt oh. like with the black exploitation, that I, I just felt like there was no power in that. So I went away to school, went to Howard University. Hey, when I got back, hey, my Jude. mother was on TV. Howard, yes. hey, you. Yes, baby. Like, and you know she got on TV yes. while I was gone. I was like, wait a minute. So I didn't grow up, but let me answer your question a different way. I didn't grow up as a little girl with her on TV. We actually grew up broke, really, in Detroit, struggling, trying to make things happen. We were in a, she was in a very domestic abusive relationship. And I'm not saying anything that you're not going to know. It's out in the, it's going to be in the book. And we had to run like thieves in the night. My, my stepdad yeah. went to work at seven. At yeah. eight, the moving truck moved in. We hopped, got all our stuff on there, hopped in the car, went to the airport and was on the way. I mean, it was crazy. I got, we got drama. But she came out here with uh, as a transfer from United Airlines, had a dream, wanted to act, really wanted to sing. But, and so we got into acting together because my little fast ass, I was about 15 by then. And she was like, we got to do something with her right now. Right, right, right? So right. we got in this workshop together. We started in Watts, right? Because after the rise, there was money there for all kind of little, you know, programs right. and stuff. Right. And, and it just kind of built from there. And the beautiful thing about the Jeffersons is that um, she taught me a couple of things. One, you can leave. If, some, if shit ain't right, you can, you can raise up and leave, right? To, it's never too late to pursue your dream, right? If you got to work, why are you trying to pursue your dream? So be it. Do it. Handle your business. You know, you do what you have to do so you can do what you want to do, right? right. But the other thing uh, is that she never, ever said to me, why don't you go get a real job? She got it that I wanted to act. She got it, right? But here's the beautiful thing. When she got the Jeffersons, it was supposed to be a one-week guest star. But they gave her this line at the end where she's at the door, she's getting ready to leave, and she looks at Louise and she says, wait a minute, before I leave, let me ask a question. You live here in this building? Louise said yes. She tells uh, Roxy Roker, and you live in this building? They said, yeah. Well, how come we overcame and nobody told me? And the audience went crazy. Yes. And hell, they had to hold for like five minutes. In that moment, they wrote, they said, who is that? The producer said, who is that? That's how the story goes. Right, right. And they wrote the woman who was supposed to be the maid out. They paid her and wrote my mother in. It happened like that. Oh, authentic. She nice was authentic, right? I love it. So when you came back <laughs> so to now. school, you started this theater company. Yes. Yeah, well, you know, I went to HBCU, they said, and I was in children's theater education, and they were like, one thing I love about Black universities, they were like, what you going to do? When you go back, what are you going to do to your, right. for your community, yes. right? They push so I wanted up. to start a theater and a school. My mother was starting a nightclub, and she was like, I don't want to start no school. And I'm like, oh, let me just do a few classes. 
And she always said I manipulated her because I was like, Marla Gibbs, the sassy maid of the Jefferson is opening the acting school. <laughs> and she was like, who put my name in there? I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I, I think they just knew that you were my mother, right? Right. But I was using that name, girl. I was using that name. And her, and listen, it was us because also she was writing them checks. I was like, I think I need a little money for, and I think oh, a little need a little more 70s. money. You said what? This was in the 70s. Yeah, it was, this was right at the 80s, the beginning of the okay, 80s. So you were still and a big part of the Black Power movement. Utamu! There Utamu. were like so many <laughs> Black stars that were created there, as well as productions. Yeah, yeah, like that's Russell right, Sunday. that's right. And there was something in the air because, and Rusty, you probably know this because you've traveled, you, you know about Caramel House too, right? Yes, that, that's where mm -hmm. I come so, from, Cleveland, yes. Okay, so see, okay, so... I don't know about Caramel House, but I know this, right around the same time I opened Crossroads, Crossroads in New Jersey opened, mm. and uh, St. Louis Black Rep opened, and Jumanji down in Atlanta opened. So there was something in the air in this yes. collective consciousness, Black consciousness that was saying, we need to do our own work. Yes. We need to create our own stories. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. We were picking up the vibe. So, cause it was interesting later when I learned about these other theaters, uh, through a guy named Woody King that yes, oh, we were all New federal. Yes. He loves you know about Woody King? Yes. I did the internship there as well in New York. You did? Yes. Oh my Woody God. King. You and know, you know Dick so Williams? did Chadwick. Chadwick Bozeman also did mm -hmm. that internship with Woody King. He grew You know Woody. Ball. We call Woody. We call Woody the that's, Godfather. Yes, that's that. Oh God, I call him Daddy. Hey Daddy. And that's right. <laughs> because there is a show I just saw it. It's not a show. It's a tribute to Chadwick on um. Is it on Instagram? It's, I think. it's on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. Okay. I'm, and Woody is I'm in it. Instagram. Did I really say Instagram? And uh, yeah, it's wonderful. And Woody's on there. Right. I haven't yeah. had. Yeah. That's yet. I, I. It's hard for me to watch the hard stuff. Oh Jesus! But yes, I, I am going to watch that. So back to you. How did you create 227? Let's just put it out oh. there. Okay, so Chicago, Christine Houston, writer from Chicago, had a script. There was a guy named Ed Cambridge. Did you know him, Rusty? Ed yep. Cambridge? Mm -hmm. Ed was like my mentor. He came over to Crossroads when we were opening and helped. He was one of the master teachers, but he was my mentor. He had worked with everybody from Billy D to Isabel Sanford, Roxy Walker. He would direct, what have you. So he came over. So wait a minute, you're script. talking about there's a the crossroads. I think it's in maybe New Jersey. They yes. opened after right. you guys. They yes. Right. It's not Caramel. Right. Caramel was historical. Like it's been up since the 60s. But you're talking about New Jersey. They bit y'all. They totally did <laughs> take over the heat that you guys created. So I'm starting to Oh wow. Yes. You know who else gives us credit for that is Wendy Raquel Robinson, and I yes. love her because she has an amazing, oh, uh, amazing yes, grace. She's with two, baby, and with amazing grace. Perfect. Right, and she used to teach at Crossroads and said that when we close, it inspired her to open her spot. Oh, so, really? And, and again, my mother. Okay, really, I'm sorry. so what happened was two to uh, seven. Two to seven. I'm sorry. Okay, two to seven. So, yes. so they brought us a play. And my mother was trying to open the nightclub. We laugh about this. We open the nightclub. She's running, she's on the show, and I'm begging her to be in the play. She's like, I don't have time to be doing. I'm like, please, 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 please. Just do, just do a couple of weeks, and then after that, we'll get somebody else. We just need you to. You're, you're, you're gonna bring all the people in, right? She got in that play, had such a good time. That play, she never left the play, <laughs> and that play just got bigger and bigger. And then people started hearing about it. We were sold out all the time. I saw black men coming to the play and they were bringing their buddies because people were seeing themselves. And an original script is they are on the stoop of a Chicago tenement and everybody's in and out of the building. Regina King was a little girl. She was in it. In the, yeah, Neil in Long the was too, a little yeah. girl. She was in it. They were, you know, Hal Williams was in it, Rosalie Hook. And uh, they were playing the numbers. It was, the play was just hot. And um, and then from there, Norman Lear heard about it. Brandon Tartikoff, who's passed on, but he was um, overdeveloped. Well, well, he was over NBC, right, Rusty? I think. Yep. 
Yep. Child, they bought it. They bought it. I said, Mama, get the rights. Like, get the rights. And she got them. And then after that, they she went in and started negotiating with them. They didn't want her to have a man. She fought for that. She said, I will not be a single, another single Black woman on TV. They wanted Hulk Hogan to be the male image in the community, corrupt. Can you believe that? <laughs> Instead of having a Black man, they were going to have Hulk Hogan. She said, oh, no, 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 no. Right? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's how they think. I don't make no goddamn concept. Who's he gonna be the mayor <laughs> when he owns the building? Who is he supposed to be? You, you know, he's gonna be in the neighborhood, and, and I ain't got nothing against Hulk Hogan, but really, I like, Hulk Hogan, instead so of her having a man, where a muscle head man fit in on the Chicago street. Who is he? You know, so she fought. She fought for writers. Black writers, she fought for Christine Houston, she fought for women. She fought for, and she put people on TV that, you know, normally she made sure Ed got the direct, Ed Cambridge got the direct the TV show. But you know what I love about my mother? Um, and, and I, I want to backtrack and make this quick story. What I love about my mother is that she was a fighter before it was popular to be fighting right, for diversity, right? Right. But I want to go back and tell this quick little story. When she was on the Jeffersons, during that one week guest star, she didn't know any better. So after every, they had a table read, all the actors got up and walked away and left Norman and them at the table to talk. Well, she sat there. Right. Yes. <laughs> she, she didn't know. She didn't know right. she was supposed to leave. Right. So she, she, um, they're like, and they don't, you know, they don't want to hurt her feelings. She said, excuse me, excuse me. Black people don't talk like that. <laughs> they were like, uh. <laughs> Okay, right. she said, no, no, we wouldn't say it like that. We would say it like, and the actors were trying to tell her, get up, like, don't, right. we don't do that. She was like, Power of anyway, people. anyway, yes. <laughs> which is why I think when that line resonated with everybody, it was because it was real, it was coming from yes. a real place, you right? After that, they let the actors sit at the table and give notes. So I'm telling you, my mother was like a trailblazer. Okay, a trailblazer. so let's go back for because this is for the people. You mentioned your mom got the rights to the play early on when she. Now that's right. some pimp. Can you explain what that means and why that's important for the whole show and the, the whole series? Right. She's got money coming in places where white folks usually just get the money coming in. So can you explain right. what that means? Well, for her, it, it, it was a place of power. Yes. Because if you have some ownership, then yep. you get to make some decisions. Yes. And case in point, when they were trying to make her a single mother and Hulk Hogan, and they didn't, you know, they they had all these ideas. And she said, gentlemen, it's been wonderful. And I have loved being on the Jeffersons. I don't know where she got this from, but she said, but I'd rather pick shit with the birds than do something I don't believe in at this point in my career. Gangsta. Thank you. Thank Gangsta. you. Gangsta. Gangsta. She had the hey, right. Hey, Angela. Angela, I'm shocked she didn't say child. <laughs> no fear. While everybody right, else let had brown let me, let me ask the question. Let me ask the question. So, Paula, right now I'm just so astounded at both our two guests. Amazing, y'all was a part of my history of growth as a, a child to an adult, especially Big Brother Chucky. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to give you some names, and then I want you to tell me what that name rings. I love it, Adele. The singer Adele. Nope. Think like a man. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Tell you know Paul about that? that? What you know about that? What? I told you, you know I'm that? amazed. How about this one? Judge. He did his homework. <laughs> Judge Aline. Who is that? I don't know Judge Aline. Gandalf. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Judge. The Judge. Oh, Hello. yeah. Who, who that is about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this just blew me away. This blew me away. Okay. You know what scandal was? They were they were so on top of their game over in scandal. And think like a man, they treated me really good. 
That's where I met Lunell, and that's been my girl ever since. As a matter of fact, we have a show coming out. It's Lunell. You did. Lunell, you did. Off of Crenshaw and Slizzle? We did Black Black Jesus before Think Like a Man. No, we did uh, Think Like a Man first. And then you brought her on Black Jesus. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And we just did a show on HBO Max that's coming out soon called Hacks. Okay, keep on. How do you keep on? Okay, well, yeah, I gotta go back to the first one. What was the first one, Gotti? The first one that you Adele. Adele. The first one is Adele. (laughs) Not the singer. Not the singer. That's Think Like a Man. Oh, that was your character. Yes. With Therese. I'm like, oh, the singer? I forgot. He went back. Yes. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) That's how about I get more recent? About think like a man. How about I get more recent? That's how I'm Dor- in the house. Doris Jackson. Come on now. Come on. Come <laughs> okay. on. Come on. That sounds like that sounds like right. That sounds like Ice Cube Mama. That's right. Oh. That's my son. Sure. Right. Straight out of Compton. Wow. Wow. Okay, now this one blows me away because this was my favorite, one of my favorite new television shows. I can't believe it. So you know I like different shit. Okay, you read? Yeah, I read. Okay. <laughs> what was your character name in this one right here? Oh, this is this is a great one. Oh my god, this is just so great. Because I can't believe you was a part of this. this is so- uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait a minute, do I need to pull my shit up? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Bang. Anna what? Reed. What is it? Anna, Anna Reed. Reed. What, what project? Suits. Who is Anna Reed? Suits. Suits. So you met Meghan Markle, too. You met Meghan Markle. Oh, yes, and Suits. Oh. oh, you know, you know, I do so much. I just don't and remember I all the names. The you what know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to remember Good all the names. Do, do trickle the chin. No. Oh, let me tell you about that. Let me tell you about that. Yes. So I didn't, you know, I didn't meet Meg. Meg. You know I would love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, Karan. That's good. Let me, yeah, tell, you, let me tell you about it. love the Max. That's pretty good. You, you know, know what? I didn't, I didn't I seen, meet her, though. I seen, I seen that oh, scene. Hell. So did you get any tea? Known that was you, though. Just like with Rusty. He was in. He hit me with two of them, because I was going to hit him with some wop wops too. But he just he just cracked the whole game. <laughs> Hollywood Shuffle. Yeah. Oh, I love that move. What? And and in school days. Okay, mm-hmm. we we only got limited time with Angela. You didn't brought up the Megs or the Markles. Did you? No, no. You listen. I pushed it back. We gonna hang a little bit. They gonna we gonna we got a little plan. All so right. I got I got I got a little more time because I told them um nine o'clock we gonna then we'll hook up. Okay. okay so so this you, you are my sex? girl. I love you, babies. Yes, you are. So did you get any set? Tea from Suits. Did I get me what set what? Oh. Set tea. Oh no, no. Okay, well I got this. I got this. So the the sister who did my hair and the, the guy who did my makeup, they were like they loved him some making. Right. They said that the Prince Harry was there all the time, sitting in the makeup trailer, hanging out with them like regular folks, just like. Wanted to hang with them, wanted them to come to the wedding. I didn't get, you know, they loved her, so I didn't hear anything but love, love, love for Megan, right? Good. And for him. Good. Wasn't until later I heard all this stuff. And they were invited, by the way. They went to the wedding, because right? Because that's how you tell a person's character, by how yeah. the people in service to them are treated. And that's right. if the people at work were able to say she was a generous character, I find it hard right. to believe she would have been non-genuous or generous to right. the people in the castle in England. Yes. So that's right. I, little, but, thank you for that little tidbit of tea. No, listen, let me tell you something. They always give you the tea in the makeup trailer. You know that, yeah, honey, right? don't they know? Spill a bean. Always got the tea in the makeup and the hair trailer. They know everyone everybody's up. business. Thank you. you know, and 
They had nothing but love for her. Nothing well, but love for her. Let's go back to, since we got you for a minute, let's go back to Rusty's um, school day story. School days. I thought it was great that Glenn Close knew all the school day's history. Right. The Oscars. When she was like doing the butt uh, and got up and did the butt. <laughs> right. But then she did, didn't she do a shout out to DMV and she said shout out. I was like, no, I already liked you. Glenn. I love you. Burn them rabbits. So you left off, right. Rusty. Rusty, you were telling us how you all um stayed in different hotels. You were getting to that aspect of it. I, I, all, all I was just trying to, to get to was that it was the 80s. There weren't a lot of black projects out there. Just did Hollywood Shuffle. And I'm on this plane with like 15 or 20 young black actors and actresses. And we go into Atlanta. And so, you know, everybody's like 20 something. And you go to the hotel, Spike had the shit hooked up. You go to the hotel, his producer's handing you your per diem. I mean, we're like- They used to hand, they used to oh, hand you per diem. Oh shit, every fucking week, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> On top of your salary. Right. And, so, and, then, and then everybody had their own room. And the rooms were like, you had a little kitchenette and shit. So you had Daryl Bell in there frying chicken and Brandon Marsalis up there playing crazy uh, ass. Who music. has Brandon Marsalis? Brandon Marsalis. Oh, oh, okay, Spike so Lee can that was be that was the wannabe, the wannabe hotel though, right? The light skin. No, no, no. So here's the thing. You so the all of the fellas, <laughs> all of the fellas were Spike's boys. So Kadeem, uh, Brandon, all the fellas stayed. With the light skin with hotel, all, with everybody else. Oh, the that only, is so the crucial. Only people that were in the fucked up hotel were the girls, the Jigaboo. Only the Jigaboo girls. Oh. Were up. They were down the road. Hey, hey, wait, 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 so wait, wait, wait. But Spike's sister wasn't right. Spike's sister wasn't down there though. I think yeah. she was. Oh, oh she, was. she was. But here, here's the thing. I, and, and I think this was, I think this is why Spike did that. Um, and I can't speak for Brandon, but you know, Kadeem and all, all these guys were actors. Lawrence. A lot of the, a lot of the, the uh, Jigaboos were dancers. A lot of the girls were dancers and they weren't strong actors. So by putting them there, he created an automatic. Yes, what the he fuck did. Over here. Yes, Learn he did. All up over there. Y'all got Wait, over here. Brilliant. All the that niggas over here. Move. That ain't right. <laughs> that was a smart move. But but you know, and he knew that and 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 uh Fishburn, who at the time you were still allowed to call Larry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't Lawrence. He wasn't Lawrence. Lawrence yet. We were like Larry. Um, but Fishburn and Giancarlo were in their own little apartment someplace. And then, but here, here's the, the dope shit, the crazy stuff. Like I said. No one was used to this. It, it was like, really? We get to come down? I mean, okay. Atlanta, all we had to do to get in any club is say, we're, we're actors in school in days. Movie, yes. And it was you old. walked into any club you wanted to, right. all the ladies or whatever you were into, but on my side, all the ladies, <laughs> you know, it's like, you're in school, you're in Spike's movie? Oh! <laughs> and then in, the, in the hotel, uh -uh. Because, like I said, it's just all these Already young people, part, the yes. hormones were raging. All you heard all night long with doors slamming and motherfucking people running up and down the fire escape steps in the hotel. Pop, 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 bam, pop, 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 <laughs> bam, pop, 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 bam. It was like people were just hooking up, hooking up, hooking up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It was, it was that, crazy. Man. How, was, how that. was it to work with greats when you see them? Because I've watched Samuel Jackson's career and he went from. Yes. Because you know, he's one of my favorite characters. He's bad badass. Yeah. Character. He's bad badass. Yeah. Bad yeah. Ass, right. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, he. You hey. motherfuckers always come down. You college boys yeah. always come down here acting like, you know. And then. There's the and other one. He started one. late too, Corrupt. He started his Corn career late as well. Cornbread Earl and me. 
Oh! Yeah. Larry Fishburne. You understand me? These two right here. That movie scarred me. Felt so high. Well, uh, you, you also had Ruby D. You had Aussie Davis. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't get to the legends because see Samuel and Lawrence was getting their rhythms. Then yeah, Ruby Lawrence D. Lawrence was, was in that movie. that other yeah. movie, oh, The Morning yeah. Vietnam or something or another. Like oh, yeah. Yeah. Ruby D. now, now rest in peace to uh, Otis. What was his name? Uh, Aussie. Her husband. Huh? Aussie. Right, Aussie. Yeah, Aussie yeah. Davis. Oh, yeah. My yeah. God. yeah, they did do the right thing. They did do the right thing. That's right. right. This is right. for Derek. Derek, this Hi, is Derek. Kind of. What's up? Our hey, boy Derek. Derek. He makes the beats. Yeah. How you doing? Also, he's a traveler. Derek, what city are you in now? Ain't no telling where this nigga be. He'll be out in Rwanda. I'm going in the Bay. Over the, the Ain't no Wakanda telling where. Wakanda. You in Wakanda? I'm in the Bay Area. Oh, okay. shit. And how'd you get there? Did you do the walk? Good for you. Okay, Rusty. So finish your story. So how did you go from party dude <coughs> on the set to Spike hearing your ideas as a director, producer, writer? And you okay, so how, because I, I, not everyone I, I, does that. Now out of out of how many people that were in that hotel room, how many of them got a deal with 40 acres in a mule? That's a good uh, question. I, I don't I don't know, but I, I'll tell you how that happened. Um, as an actor, you know, you're going down and I think, like I said, there wasn't a lot of, Spike was kind of blazing a new trail. I mean, you had had the, the black exploitation and shit was kind of dead. So he kind of was bringing stuff back around. So he did. That's right. a lot of the actors were looking to Spike for their next gig. They thought that Spike was gonna put him in every fucking thing. Yeah, that's right. I never, I never was on Spike's tip like that. I was like, thank you. But what I got from Spike was learning in the same thing. Like I, I watch Robert, I watch Spike, and I'm like, I can write and I'm gonna figure out how to direct some shit. So what happened was I did I I I finally did uh Fear of a Black Hat. Yes. Black Hat got me a lot of pub. Spike loved Fear of a Black Hat. Who did it? So a couple years later, um, and I think you were in this movie, uh, Paula, which was the one with all, with all the girls trying to fuck some dude or something. Um, was it Girl I, Six? Which one oh, was Girl it? Girl Six. Was it Girl I Six? Girl I Six. liked that movie. movie. Yeah, you were in I that, right? Cameo. Okay, so I go, Spike Mom invited me to the it. premiere. Huh? I didn't take okay, credit Spike? for it. Back in the oh, day. Okay. If it was a small part, you do non credited. I wish I had now because it was it's good. Like, Teresa Randall, right? Yes. Teresa Randall I played her, Randall. her personal assistant. So go ahead. Yes, girls. Okay. Ready. So the premiere that he had out here, there was like it, I forget, someplace on Sunset Boulevard, right? Um, I go to the premiere. And at that time, I had written a play called The Black Horror Show, which ultimately was kind of starting to become Tales from the Hood. And I was working yeah, on I Tales from that. the Hood with yeah. my boy, Darren. So we were just working on that shit on our own. So here's the funny part. And this is how Hollywood fucking works. So I'm at the premiere, the movie's over, um, y'all are coming out. And then there's some ladies out in the lobby. So I remember there was this, there was this lady that I was trying to talk to and I kind of went up to her and she just shut me down and her friend, it was her and her friend, and they were like, no, nigga, no. This shit ain't going any fucking way. It was like, damn. So it's, that happened. I turn around. Spike walks out, and Spike's like, yo, Rusty, what you doing? I said, I don't know, Spike. I'm, I'm working on this, this horror movie called Tales from the Hood. He's like, send me the script. We're going to do that shit. And he walked off. As soon as that two girls were off, like, hey. these two girls were like, hey. Shut up. I was like, hey, Shut up. I love it. Fucking. Like that. <laughs> oh, you want my number? That fucking fast. That house. You're the same. And, and they so, didn't even have no shame. They didn't have no shame. They didn't have hey, no fucking shame. How you shame. doing? <laughs> Those are cute. Oh, I, I, oh, were you trying to talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. 
I maybe I misunderstood you saying hello. Hey, hey, Rusty, you you learned at that time, you learned that that those particular women right there did not understand English. <laughs> they only understood Dinglish. Oh, I see. Right. So you got to learn, learn how to separate them. Bam! You talk to this one the way she acts. Oh, she only understands Dinglish. That's what oh, you. I see. Hey, come I here. See. Oh, what's up, corrupt? Oh shit! That's yeah, Dinglish. You only understand Dinglish. <laughs> I got some Dinglish for you, motherfucker. Dr. Dre, what's that? You know Dr. Dre? Dinglish. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> Let me ask you a question. I want you to repeat these words, right? Do we have to? I want you to fill in the gap. Uh-huh. Okay. You ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is this record right here? From his movie. Come on, it's a little more. It's a little bit more. Now, I can only be me. What's next? Yeah. Come on, man. You gotta play a little bit more. That's wrong. Oh, you're right. My bad. <laughs> That's from in one of his movies. One of our film shit, isn't it? And I know it's driving me crazy. It is from if I feel it from one of your films. I don't fucking know. It's not. It's not on this one, is it? Because I still I got. Say, oh, I it's on school was, days. Corrupt was on this shit. Okay. So I still school, got it's from school days. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Okay. I was so I have a black hat. black hat. Corrupt, you on this damn gold record? You know so that, right? Why does oh, it? Oh, I got mine. Rusty I Crump. got mine, baby. I have both of y'all. On why for does for anyone acknowledge that the party that Biggie unfortunately <laughs> was murdered at was the Tales from the Hood album release party? Was it? Yes. And no one, it was at that um, auto. At that museum on museum. Wilshire uh, Fairfax. It was the Tales from the Hood. No, was it Tales from the Hood or Sprung? Nah, sprung. Nah, don't, nah, that wasn't it me. Was sprung. <laughs> it was the Sprung, was sprung? Album release party. It was. That's why I was there. And it was from yeah. what Sprung? You said the sprung? sprung album release party. Okay. And Corrupt, okay. were you on that one? On that. Now he was on Tales. He was on a Tales. That's, that's from school days. Yeah, that, that last one was when he was there. That, that was that was kind of wasn't that. That was like uh, Fishburne and what's her name's kind of jam. Yes. What was kissing and hugging and okay. loving and <laughs> that was one of my that was my favorite. It's it's that record right there, and this is one you know she she's an all time. I don't be alone I, I've been following tonight. this young lady since Rags to Riches. Yes, now and and Tisha. I mean, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I just send a look. Okay, no. Wow, you my two favorite that was records. The Sprung premiere, the Sprung right. album release. I was there because uh, one of the bullets hit the was window. On it, or somebody in yeah. the camp was on it. Maybe not him, but their camp was on the Sprung album release. I right. just put it out there. Right. Okay, we can. Right. What was you saying about a bullet hitting the window? <laughs> yeah, one of the, one of the bullets. Cause I was engaged to a young lady at the time named Foxy Brown. Oh, so shout out, we, yes, we, queen. We got there late. Yeah, we got there late, and we was out. I was. We was. Uh, Inga was outside the car talking to people, and then it happened because we saw Puffy, and Puff was like, "What y'all doing? Hey, we going to this next spot. Follow us." So we was finna follow them, and then it happened. I was standing I right outside. And put her in the car, and all wow. we heard pink which hit the windshield. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Back, we saw the little bullet whoop-wop right there. And it was Man. just like, oh. 
Yeah, so what I a night. Off, yeah, I dropped her off at Cedar Sinai so she could be with her people. She was like, come in, corrupt. I said, you must be out your mind. I, did, I, I stayed the whole night in the bathroom <laughs> and couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. And it was my album release movie premiere. I don't know why y'all don't want to give me and Rusty the love a sprung album release. But oh yes, wow, on, you right, know what? Right, right, another right. one sprung my grown. We I have, like that that we have I, I want to just acknowledge, I just want to acknowledge that this is the Paula J and Corrupt Forum Show, and this is for the people. And it's good right now. I want to acknowledge one thing, give my roses now. You understand me? Uh you, Paula, Angela. Rusty, y'all have been a part of some of the most iconic films that has created so many uh, careers were launched from films y'all have been a part of. Spike is known for launching careers. Yeah, right? without a doubt. Out of habit. And you know, one thing about Spike, he keeps his cast. You know what I'm saying? And he interchanges the stars. Mm -hmm. yeah. see the same guys like my favorite like my guy big brother almighty you also see him in mo better blues oh yeah right. with the white lady you know <laughs> hey, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You see how that's a whole different character than big brother almighty with confidence then you got this guy with, with, with it's french it's french you dumb negroes will understand french french you know <laughs> sweet, sweet. so you know and, and and you guys have all like chris tucker you know, a lot of people mm -hmm. still don't realize that Fridays was groundbreaking for Chris Tucker. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. It was. Yeah, it was. And Paula has my favorite line. Uh, the best line. Fridays. Boo! <laughs> Where Craig get? <laughs> Boo! Okay, it's the nine o'clock hour. And we like to talk about current events. I don't know if you have to leave, Miss Angela. But hey, I just sent a little text. I'm good. Okay, yeah, uh, that is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Angela making them wait. We gonna okay, call her. Uh, uh, we gonna, gonna make the movie. Angela got her groove back. <laughs> I want to see this guy. I I gotta see this this young Thug Muffin. Right, this Thug Muffin. Right. Oh my God. And always, except especially no, especially that one. Yes. Especially that one. That oh, one. yeah. Yes. That oh, one. Oh, yeah. That I'll one. I'll say, mm hmm. Uh, okay. So, Rusty, I still today. can't believe you was trying to talk to me back in the day. Yeah. yeah I, I, I was thinking, I, 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 I wasn't, wait, I wasn't thuggish enough for Angela. See, Angela was like them hardcore thug motherfuckers. It was too and I was a little it. too, I was a little too. I was more Billy D and less than Jackson. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? Hey, look at her, hey, look at her, look at her mama, man. Look at her mama, man. You know the fruit don't fall far from the tree. Nigga. You know you can't be going up to a gib being too nice and shit. Hey, how you doing, this late nigga? Please. All right. Anyway, so you gotta watch it now because see the gibs know how to speak English. Very. Oh, yeah, we don't speak. What'd you say? We don't Taking speak. What's that, What's that other one? Ganglish or whatever you. Ganglish. We don't speak that. Yeah, we don't speak English. English. So you go Dang. talk to them. I'm like, they're like, look, man, I know how to count, okay, and I can, I know my ABCs. All right, beat <laughs> it. All right, nigga. Okay. Come on now. I, I had, I had, I had, I had, I had a whole bunch of people. What, what current event after. we going into, Paula? I, I had, I, I know I was going to go into current events, but I had a, a question and I just can't let it go. Rusty, <laughs> you got to tell the truth. Did you fall in love with Tisha Campbell? on the set when y'all was kids on the set of uh school days and then cast her in sprung as an ode to your love and then cast me because i look like her that's all i want to know that's all i gotta say that's all i want to know the tea you can tell us you can tell us <laughs> you in the hot seat yeah, um, I, I, I would say that I just thought the Tisha was like during school days, she was super sweet. She was just like, the and her mama was there. I that her mama was there. She was her mama was 18. there, but but now, and, and you know, I teach and I never hooked up like that ever, but I don't and care that her mom. 
Like I said, my room was down the hall and I heard her door slamming. I don't know who was going in that motherfucker. Okay, so mama might not have been there that day. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> went into Tisha's room. They ain't gonna start now. I'm gonna go be <laughs> Okay, Rusty, I'm trying to open up no doors for you to slam. Let's go. Right, actually, I know who went in, but I ain't gonna say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I send Remember, you a text? those no, that know not gonna give me no don't school. Don't tell. Don't I ain't saying no school. Don't okay. Know. All right, because she was on the mission. We were on the mission. Y'all acting like she was she was single and high and cute. So anyway, she was she was right. that's and right. She, and she was ready to mingle. That's so right. Right. Oh hey, y'all better be careful. Kadeem gonna be at Cuz door any second. Like what will happen? <laughs> Every everybody yeah. everybody on that damn show was mingling. <laughs> you That's what I heard. Why, why do you think? Hey, look. Hey, I'm gonna That's tell you like this. Spike has, had a reason for putting them, them over there. But another thing, reason putting them over there too was you understand me. Everybody be touching and hugging each other and shit. You know what I'm <laughs> oh no! Nah, oh, people were driving to the Jigaboo Hotel, Ooh, coming back wee. to the hotel. Oh, that sound like fun! The Jigaboo uh, Hotel, uh, really? <laughs> That's what y'all called it, the Jigaboo Hotel. I, I, I'm gonna tell you like this. I'll tell you like this. I, I'm, I, I am gonna admit. You'd have been okay? at the Jigaboo Hotel too. I know you would. I'm gonna be at Whitley's. <laughs> knock, knock, well, knock, knock. Whitley, 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 Whitley. <laughs> Having none All day. of that. When they wasn't having right. none of that. From the door. From Ooh, the door. God, God, God help me. Jasmine, God was like, she was too old for me, so I'd have been there with my young ass. Jasmine, fine. So, so up. Hey, hey, let me just tell you. That's okay. Yeah, so, That's okay. I'm going to try <laughs> this question out. Rusty, <laughs> you are the first person that started talking at vaccination to me. You said you went really? with your, your frat brothers. And you all guys, I guess all the alphas, and you guys cheered each other, other on as you went and got your vaccination. Yeah, actually, we just had a, a thread going, and we're like, if you got it yet, you got your shit yet? Because I, you know, I'm like the only weird, weird entertainer dude in my, on my line. Everybody, right. all the rest of them are businessmen and doctors and lawyers and shit. So on my doctor frat, you know, when the, when the vaccines and even before the vaccines came out, they were like, minute, you know, spitting a lot single? of knowledge. Any of them single? They what? Are they single? Any of them single? Uh, Angela was looking real cute when you said well. doctor. Oh, <laughs> she got somebody <laughs> coming over. She don't need you, no doctor. I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> she, got doc, doc, she got Dr. Feelgood coming over. Uh, <laughs> I just missed it. But I do think it's tequila time. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm go ahead and pour a little tequila while y'all talking. He ain't coming over. She going out to meet him. Quit cutting. Oh, okay. uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna like... say nothing. I'm gonna just... He might already be here now to you. Uh, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Strange. You never know. Okay, continue. Continue. So you got your shot. Which one did you I, get? I got the Moderna. I got both of them. I'm, I'm all vaxxed up. Um, all my all my frat got vaxxed. Um, so yeah, I mean I'm I'm just you know out there saying to 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 the black folk because I know and we have reason to have conspiracy theories because some fucked up shit has happened to us in the past. It's happened, right? So we got reason to be concerned about shit. Yes, I agree. But at the same time, on this one, if anything, the white people might not want you to take it. So take this shit. Okay, <laughs> so Miss Angela, this is the reverse. <laughs> what, is, what are your thoughts on the vaccine? Um, let me have a little drink of water first. <laughs> <laughs> take your time, honey. Well, as you know, here at all. my name was Utamu. You do know that. Yes. I spent a lot of time in Africa. I got friends in Africa that have schooled me about the vaccine. I've got friends who take it and friends who are absolutely not going to take it. And right now I'm on that side. I, I, but I, I came up with Dr. Sabi. You all have heard of Dr. Sabi. Yes. I came up with him. Yes. I was 18 and he kind of helped teach. He taught me so much. So yes. I'm on Sabi's herbs. I'm on something called uh, Ion Silver. I'll go show you a bottle of, I do other things. 
And I also think it's a fear. Well, this is how I feel. Okay. And my own research and talking to people in the medical and uh, uh, nutritional world. Did you get, is that did you get it from mom? One place. quick question. They, they created, well, guess my mother called it. They okay, created this shit in the first place, I believe. And then not only did they create it, now they're going to create a vaccine. There's money in that. It's always been about money with them. And and they did it so fast that I'm, I'm just like, I'm into herd immunity. Like, okay, y'all going to get it. And if okay. y'all good, I'm now, good. Let you know me explain I mean? to y'all. Because do you know Miss Tina Lifford? Do, do either of you? Miss I know her. So Miss yes. Tina explained to me, I just did a stint on Queen Sugar. I thought her immunity, immunity meant if you got it, then it'll rub off on me. But no, it was just explained to me that herd immunity, y'all, means that if more of the population gets it than those who don't have it, it'll be a greater chance that those who don't have it won't need it because those who have it won't give it to them. Right. So it's not that you go on magically have it by herd immunity. No, no, exactly. Exactly. If the majority right. have it, there's a more likely chance that you won't get it because the vaccination right. is not stopping anyone from getting it. It's stopping the effects of it if you get it from happening as badly. And, so, and listen, my daughter got it. My son is not. And, and you know, I've talked okay, to people, so and, yes. you know, your daughter you work got all it. the time. How in the that? My How daughter has, she's, into, you said what? How was that experience going through that she with her? She was fine. She was fine. I do have some friends, I say friends at, with a, a plural, who got sick or their, or their mother, like one guy, one Rusty, friend of my Asian sister. Rusty, talk about it. You got sick. Rusty got sick. Okay, oh. well, my girlfriend had to take her mother to the hospital. Oh. From the then vaccine? I know how, from the vaccine, yeah. I don't know why my mother keeps calling me. I, Hi, mommy. Okay. I know, mommy. I should. Ah. You guys. Well, you want me to call and say, okay, I'll yes, call Yes, Miss Marla came. Oh, honey. Marla Gibbs. <laughs> Miss Marla came. What type of phone call is that? Can you imagine this shit call? Okay, okay, next time she call, I answer. Can you imagine this shit? Check this out, man. Check this out. Check this out. Can you imagine this shit right here, Paula? Okay, I'm just cutting the breeze with my folks on this motherfucking line, right? And my father, Quincy Jones, just calls me and shit. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, it's just my pa. It's just Quincy. You know, I'll get back to. Class. So anyway, how about them Lakers? My right. Oh, this that's just how, my mom. That's how one is. No, you don't understand. You got it like that, Angela. You got it like that. But one day I hope to pray to be. I'm just saying, listen, 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 listen. You see the real that little boy on the Instagram? Listen, 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 listen. Okay, listen. My, my, she, she is Marla Gibbs to y'all. She is mama to me. <laughs> yes. And, and I, I'm the oldest and the only girl, and I get at least 10 phone calls a day. Now, I just left. Oh, you know what she want? I'm making her a sweet potato. That's what she want. She has, okay, now I feel bad. Did but you get I'm like, mama. The vaccination. Potato pie. So she doesn't want it. She does not. But listen to what I said. I'm not preaching to anyone because I think it's our body, it's our choice. This and I said, Mom, for entertainment purposes only, I like to say. These are well, you know, I said, I told her, if you want to get it, I will take you. And she's like, I I think I do. And then she said, I changed my mind. I think I do. So I don't, you know, listen, far be it for me to tell her not to do it and then she gets sick or to do it and she gets sick. She's got to, but my mother's also an herbalist kind of person and she doesn't like high blood pressure medication and all kind of stuff. We used to fight about her going to the doctor as a matter of fact. So my feeling about the oh, vaccine oh. basically is this. I think people who feel that they should get it should get it, right? And I do think if there's a point where they say, Angela, you got to have it to fly or to work, I will get right. that motherfucker. <laughs> Period. Okay, you know what I mean? Right here, 
I have, I have one, one word. On the commercial. I, right here. I have one right word. here. That's right. Hey, you didn't hear what I said? Word. Word. I'm going to tell y'all like this. Jobs yeah. are not saying I'm, I'm going to tell y'all like this. I'm going to tell y'all like this. I have one word, and it ain't Thunder Baby. It's one word. What? God. Amen. Okay. I got one word. Amen. That's tell right. Tell them take that vaccine and stick it in their ass. Because, you know, there was <laughs> I got the best vaccine in, in the world. God. There was a God. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. I'm going to be right back. Wait a minute. That God. was upset about the kids God. the vaccine. And they shut right. down schools in Miami due to the vaccine and the whole hurting thing. But I also want to bring up the fact that my girlfriend's sister the reason why she's not here today, uh, Miss Angela is such my queen. Um, <clears throat> her sister passed away the day before yesterday in her sleep from the Johnson and Johnson vaccination. She got it oh, last week. So yeah. Yeah. You know, we're all hearing horrible things about the Johnson and Johnson. But right. after Rusty got that first Moderna. Um, can you talk about it? You were, you did have no. The first, the first Moderna didn't give me any problems at all. The second one, I felt a little achy. It's just like getting a flu shot, right? right. Yeah, you which I don't, which shot, I don't it, it, I don't it, you gotta get a little achy. So right. you know, I'm, I, but I'm, I'm less of, I, 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 res, I, mad respect the corrupt, go with God, but I prayed for some shit that I haven't gotten, See? so I'm gonna go with the vaccine. Talking about that, that, that. But you know what, Rusty? If I were to get one, it would. I better know about one, that CMOS. It would be Moderna. It would be Moderna. If I, you know, that's right. But you see, that's what I'm talking about. Over and then the this is the ion silver. Okay. And, and and when you do that, you've heard of, see, this is what I'm talking so about. Talk about it to us, please, Miss Angela. Talk about it. Well, this is like he's talking about with, with like corrupt guy, but this, you've heard of, you've heard I of colloidal you, silver. Rusty. Oh, I come on, you, Rusty. Is that Dr. CB2, Rusty, or is that, what's his name? Ron DMC, his brother? <laughs> Amen. Russell. That's a Sucky crime. Farms. That's oh, that crime. Farm. Oh, well, now nah, we got, okay, crime. we can do that too now. Oh, that. Now, you know the yeah. herb and spices. You got that crime. Eric knows what's up. From a, <laughs> Eric, is, it, is it that time? Cancer. Them it's, herbs it's and spices the herb. in the Bible, honey. They was probably well, the herbs and spices in Jesus' tomb, honey. I'm, a, I'm an edible man. I'm edibles. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are we doing that? Are we doing that? Because, you know, I'm ready. I love okay, you. I love you. I get my little show. candy? In my little candy. Oh, you got the chips ahoy joints? I got the nice. <laughs> I got the Doritos. Where are my Doritos for? And then, <laughs> and then Magic Down Line, I was over in his little spot. They gave me these. Oh, wow, yeah. that's cute. I saw these. This is the new corrupt line. You already know I blew the game away with my moon rocks. Now I got my edible line. With oh, I love it. Are you serious? That's, that's beautiful. beautiful. Okay, where I gotta where I gotta go, Where I gotta go? Where I gotta go? You know, I, 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 you know, I, I'm I working out a way to get it to you because I do hand deliveries as well with my folks. You understand me? You and I don't like to say that. You know, being privileged as y'all are, I'm gonna give it to you for free. But I am. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Pause on that. On that note, before we go right. back to Dr. CB and his wisdom, Miss Angela. We missed 420. What did you do, Mr. Corrupt, for 420? Because I heard some. Is Mama home? About us. Oh, we party. Ask her to call me back. Okay. We, we party. I'm on a, a snoop dog party. Tell her to call me right back. We the, the, sweet potato is red. Well, okay. Well, uh, or you could come get it. But if she want to come get it, she could say hi to everybody. Okay. But um, the sweet okay. potato ready, okay? Not to um, my house. Asking if she feel like coming over here. I made a sweet potato for her. Oh, she yeah. kept calling. So she could come here and say hi, or we'll just uh or just let her know it's ready. Okay, and I'll bring it a little bit in a little bit. Okay. Queen. All right. We'll see. She uh, might give us a look. She wait, might just wait, make wait, a, wait, a, a, a interest. Uh, wait, 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 Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I came with you. I came with you. I came. 
Hey, who keeps a peep with that, man? You understand me? That phone call. You tell mom. <laughs> what in the name? Mom. Oh, my God. You're stupid. You know that. <laughs> okay, Kamara, okay, what did you do on 420? How did, so, how did so you do your 420 in? Well, now we did, you know, Slink, my son, oh, yeah. did a, uh, yeah, we did a, uh, we, we released a, uh, a Smoke Yours video. My son did the music and, and Slink. We had, um, what's his name? Magic Down Wine. My mother was in it. I have to send you a link. I wish I could, I don't know how to show I it to you. I wish you but could too. I will, I will do it. I, I got to figure out how to do uh, it. Kara, but, what about you? I heard about Snoop Dogg's party. Derek, were you there? I ain't gonna do the dog in, party, nah. I ain't gonna do the dog party. I forgot. Corrupt. You was in New Orleans? Yes. What about you, you working? How'd you bring your 420 in? I got high off my own supply. <laughs> I heard you were testing some things. No? Oh, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, taste testing my own shit yes. and also flying the Why people at my table. This Let's is real. Smoke. Quit trying to front. This forum. <laughs> forum. Uh, I'm just saying that. It's legal. Miss Paula, what did you do, Miss Paula? Right. What did you do? New Orleans. I missed it all. But I heard You did? I heard from I heard it through the grapevine that corrupt was having fun. <laughs> so, you know, since I, since I gave baby. up uh since I gave up liquor and, and, and haven't drank any liquor. <laughs> you know, I, I went back to smoke weed. I just can't. I just can't smoke weed with Daz and Snoop. I'm telling you how proud I am of you because I don't right. want to be big head or nothing. Because that's just how it's supposed to be. My well, baby. you know, I yeah, I could smoke. I just can't smoke with Snoop and Daz because see, <laughs> when you go to sleep, they bring the cameras out. They start filming you and shit. <laughs> Daz and that is and then Daz will wake you up by blowing smoke in your nose. You feel like you're on fire and shit, and then that's all the homies. Hilarious. Out. Wait, that is wrong. Oh, Wait a I, I corrupt. <laughs> got it. Uh, I, I, I got to uh, congratulate you, man. You're growing up on Rosie. Uh oh. Uh, Paul, don't know when we went out there. What's going on, Derek? Miss Paula. Who they had all the children? Miss Marla. Come say hi. Oh, hurt my leg. Come say hi, Mama. They love you. Miss Marla, congratulations. Hi, Hi Miss Marla. Hello. You remember? We love you. you remember Derek, congratulations on your show. We love you. And he teases me every time I call. I'm like, Mama, he's like, Oh, yeah, Quincy. Yeah, my dad's Quincy. And uh, <laughs> oh, you just call Marla again, right? What a blessing. Thank you, Queen, for blessing us. How are you? How do you feel? I'm fine. How are you? I'm blessed. You look gorgeous. Got your tracksuit on. So healthy and pretty. I see you need some glasses. <laughs> I, I, no, she don't. No, she don't, mama. <laughs> she know I do. She got to get her sweet potato. She yes, got to go. get her sweet potato. Oh, wow. That's sweet potato. Skin? How you I just doing? Right now. I'm talking about your star. Right now, you're not looking like the Lone Ranger. Uh, I need you to look like the Lone Ranger, okay? <laughs> well, not yet. They are home, but we they got wedding masks right now. Mama, you get the vaccine. Wants you to do the vaccine. We're talking about the vaccine. Bass Reeves. What? No Lone Ranger was a black man. Bass Reeves. Miss Marla, oh. how'd you feel yeah. about your star? Thank you. Congratulations. Long overdue. Congratulations. They Thank finally you. Yeah, long overdue. They finally got it together. That's right. And I told I told him right next to Snoop. You know Snoop did a video of her talking about bad bitches of Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> Numero uno. <laughs> Mama said, Well, if it's Snoop, he can say it. Okay. Uh <laughs> Corrupt is a part of Snoop's team, Miss Marla. Yeah, Corrupt and Snoop are, are, are very tight. They they're part of a well, they work together. They're artists. Uh huh. So you want you wanted to tell Snoop something for you, huh? You wanted to tell Snoop something for you. 
He tells Snoop I love him. I watch him all the time. <laughs> and he's doing a lot of commercials. Yes, he is. The Corona commercial is great. Miss Marla, yes. are there any words of wisdom you can give our audience? This show, we call it the forum because it's basically for the people. And anything that you can give us that will help us on our road to becoming legendary, immortal life. The only thing I can, the only thing I can tell you is what I believe. I believe what God said, we're all one. Yes, ma'am. So even though we look different, you know, we come to this planet more than once. So if we don't like Asians this time, next time we come, we might be Asian. <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. Yes. Figure it out. So the thing is, I'm all about love. What's that? That now corrupt has a book about the dog pound journey. Russ, oh, Snoop Dogg. That there, there was when she's in the process of selling right now. Um, about Snoop and the dog pound journey with um death row and pre death row and the Cleveland drama. What's the name of the book? What's the name of the book? It's called. DPG for life, dog pound for life. I love it. Okay, we gotta and get a I copy. I wanted to say I want everybody to send prayers out to to Snoop himself. You know, Snoop's my cousin, so um, my aunt Beverly passed away, which is Snoop's mama. Oh, oh wow! Oh my goodness! And, uh, we want to send some prayers to Snoopy. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow, wow, wow. And please give him, give him our love and condolences and absolutely keep some light and love around him and the family and you as well. You yeah. lost an aunt. You lost an aunt. Yeah, buddy. Uh, you and didn't really she, lose boy her. Was she, and boy, was she great. Uh, was she? Auntie Beverly, she knew how to party. <laughs> oh, you know, she come in there, boy. Y'all young folks don't know nothing about no party. <laughs> I love it. Oh man. And you know like, she's still like, with like me. Auntie Marla, like Auntie Marla says, she's not gone. She's she's still here. That's better right. Place, better, better everything. So you know, you know she's gonna That's keep right. her eye on Snoop. His hot because there is no death in the spirit. Yes. So right. you know she's still here with you. That's yes, right. Yes, we were so surprised to see you in the reboot of um the the reboot everybody of the Jefferson oh Jefferson Live Jefferson Live through that door you brought the house down and mm -hmm. I'm so sorry that you lost your friend recently because I know you and he were very yeah, tight oh talking about Norm, talking about Mary Wilson who, know, who are you talking about Norman and Miss Mary yes Miss Mary as well but I was talking about Norman I know they both recently passed then yes Norman Lear is gone. I thought he was. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? No, I think that I think we'd all know if he left. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I swear I thought he was. No. Let me just look real quick. Cause um Please I might have missed that one. No, I'm in there. Jesus, I'm sorry if he isn't. No, no, he's still here. He's still here. No, Miss Marley, you would know. That's why I was gonna ask you. Well, good. He's 98, though. Somebody He's 98. did, though. Yeah, because he just did a documentary about still being here that I was yeah. watching and thoroughly enjoyed. I you think it was there. Carl Reiner. Okay. It was That's Carl what I'm Reiner. Of. Thank right. you. Oh, That's yes. Just white people confused. I'm sorry, Miss Marla. Do <laughs> they know, all look alike? I'm sorry. <laughs> they old and white people. I'm so sorry. But we are. She's we were so proud <laughs> that you got your roses, and he was. He put you in that episode. It it brought yes. me down. And I want to talk like about Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, you're in the Jamie Foxx show. No, she was just saying, how did you working. like Jamie Foxx as George Jefferson? How did you like yes, Jamie? Jamie. So Jamie, were you able to get in touch with him that time? And was he able to be instrumental in getting you your story? <coughs> because I know he, talk about being able to maintain friendships for over 50 years. I mean, right. 
how that is what keeps you in the game relevant yes working and respected can you talk right. about that friendship that you have Kristen Lear who is still here with us Norman Lear by the grace of God Your friendship with Norman Lear oh yeah yeah, he started it all for me. Well, he didn't start it. God started it, but but he picked up the he picked up the trail and kept going. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you know what? And you know what, Miss Miss, I got to tell you like this because I'm right. Like, I'm calling you Auntie. Okay, <laughs> Auntie Marla. I'm gonna tell you like this. You still got that million dollar smile. You get them. You go. I got a million dollars from me. From my <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. Go get it. I'm gonna help you. I'm your lawyer. Okay. 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 I'm gonna be your lawyer, Gotti Cochran, and you I know got. What you. direction we gonna start in? <laughs> Every direction. We go straight to the top. <laughs> we gotta get paid, Jack. This is such Let's a blessing because you recently you're still working, like you're still working yeah. on network TV. Jack K and I are doing Days of Our Lives soap opera. Honey. It'll be on in August. Wow. God. We did four. Good. Can you I'm her mama. A bit? <laughs> How is She's it? I talked to her today. She told me to tell you she loved you too. I talked to her today. Did you? Uh huh. How is it working still? Like, I know it's a blessing. Do you still have well, to? That's what you. Honey, that's what you do when you're 30. You just don't leave 30. You can work work as long as you want to. Yes. Right. Yes. When you're 30 right here. So do they still that's, make That's the money? only place that it counts. Yes, only they make offers. So you go to work. You like Betty Davis. You're going to do it. You're going to ride us out. And I love you for that. You're still getting nominated. You're still getting your flowers, your accolades. You're still showing up. You finally got your star. I'm so thankful that you paved the way for myself, Angela, and the rest of us yeah. out here. I was I'm talking about you thank, earlier. Thank you. Because she's Angela a trailblazer. I was talking about you earlier about your life prior to. Like you didn't start the game until you were forty. In her forty, I told you you yeah, started 40, in your forty. Uh -huh. That's what's so amazing that I'm 30 now. I know. <laughs> How does that work? How do you do it? <laughs> you just park, honey. Just park. Park Good. your body like park. you park your car. Park. I'm a I'm park. Start it now. Park. Sit still. So that's your advice. Just sit still, chill, allow it to come to you. My advice is it's never too late. Never too late. But what God said, you have everything you need to do anything you want right now. Right. So what we need to be doing is going inside and searching to see what it is we really want to do, what we want to connect with. So wow. when you yeah, were 40 and you moved out here, you always knew that you were going to be an actress. Was that something no. in your heart? They didn't have it in Chicago and they didn't have it in Detroit. And if they did, I didn't see it. That's right. <laughs> so how did you how did that happen, that first audition? When I moved out here, I was in Hollywood, so I figured this is where it happened. So that's when I started going to workshops right. and doing plays. Right. Right. So I started at once. Oh wow. And I'm then you had to your your audition for the Jeffersons, you got the Say part. Again. You had an audition for the Jeffersons. You got the part and made a one day immortal. What was supposed to be one day of work became an yes. immortal character. Well, God always has other plans. So you need to be ready for the plans. Right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Not your plan. Keep to the game. Keep God first. First. Everything else shall come. Keep God first. You know, I'm not mad at the vaccination, but the vaccination can't do anything God can not do. God 
is say that again. God is my vaccination. I'm not mad at the vaccination, Auntie. God is my vaccination. He's my vaccination. And All right. God has not told me to get no shots. Man has. God told waiting me. Waiting for him to tell me to. Right. He told I, me. I did ask. I will. I asked. God, God, God did what tell me. What did he say, Miss Marla? He got it. What did he say? What did God tell me, Miss Marla, about the vaccination? What do you think about the vaccination? I'm not quite. I, I think what they're trying to do is commendable. I mean, we had so many people die. So if they can come up with something that keeps you from getting it, okay. Right. Miss Miss Gibbs, I, I just want to say it's been a pleasure seeing you again. I got to go pick up my daughter. Um and I don't know, I always tell you this when I see you, I used to perform at your at Marla's memory lane as a stand-up all the time. Yep. And you 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 always paid that night. You were fantastic. <laughs> Thank it's, you. It's beautiful what did you play? Huh? No, no, he was a he was open No, I was stand-up when Ronaldo Ray or something couldn't oh, be yeah. you had me. <laughs> yeah, Ronaldo was my man. Ronaldo was Marla, always I there. Put him on, I put him on two two seven. Yep. And wait, yep. Rusty, didn't you direct? I think Rusty directed the first play we ever had, even before Ed. Because didn't you direct Anansi and the Spider? I don't know if it was me or Shabaka, but we were down there because I that's that's when I, I played your wife. I played your wife. Remember you, that? You played my wife, which was so why I had a crush on you. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about this crush. I didn't Tell know nothing Rusty about this crush. Go on and get it. Go get it. That's right. Go. That's right. Go. Go. That's right. Go. That's right. Go. That's right. Go. That's right. You know what? I did not. That's God. Go. Miss Marla, you should know. It was a great story, y'all. I got to go now. We love you I so love much. You. Love, peace, love, faith, Thank and you prosperity for, being for all your mama. days. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. Here you go, Mama. Right. Okay. Enjoy that part. Paula, Corrupt, and, and Derek, I got to go. Okay. We love you, Rusty. We love you, Rusty. This has been Thanks. so great. It's been a pleasure. Okay, uh, I got to leave y'all too, man. I know. All we have left is our uh, Battle of the Beats. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to miss that. Damn it. All right. <laughs> Thank you Bye. so much for coming, Rusty. Thank you for bracing us with your knowledge, your love, your presence. You got it. Thank you for Thank having you. me, Paula. Thank you. Bye. Too much fun. Bye, baby. Bye. All right, baby, I'm going to sign it off too, but um, wait a minute. Wasn't that Stop. wonderful? Wait, that wait, 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 to... wait, hold up. Hold Was that up. wonderful? Hold up. What? Girl? You just don't understand. My queen. I, don't I, make me cry. Do not make me I cry. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to you, to the universe. Wasn't that Marla. wonderful? You are wonderful, Queen. Just know that. Well, I'm a reflection. When you on your date, make sure he know that. Because if he don't, okay. let him know. That, oh, was, okay. that was God. That's she right. Thank you. Thank, yes. That was. Because she was calling and you were teasing me. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to call her. <laughs> then it was dawned on me. I'm making her a sweet potato. She wanted a sweet potato, right? And normally I take it over there and I cook, but today I said, I'm going to do the show. I can't, you know, do the, she's doing her fish, but I think it's good too that she gets up and cooks and moves around. You know what I mean? She still got it though, you know? And, uh, but what well, I'm so excited that you she You don't know how much and, she just inspired a million people out there. I mean, I don't know if one person is watching or two, but. Right, right, right. One saw it, a million saw it. And. Yeah. She inspired us all. She is and will always be an inspiration. Thank you so Iconic. much. Yeah. Iconic. Iconic. Yeah. Uh, 
She's Our a queen. She taught me how to be a queen, you know? She's a queen. And she taught that me special. that. That was drink. special. Yeah. That was hella special. I mean, yeah. can't beat it. My goodness. You turned us out. I mean, there's no more, no less. It's done. See? And everything has a reason. I'm so glad my gut said, okay, you know, I'm gonna, we're gonna hang out tonight, me and my friend, and I have a girlfriend. And she's they, they, so I'm going to go there and then we're all going to whatever we're going to do. And I said, let's shift this around a little bit for tonight. And I'm so glad I did because we would have missed that. Yes. And the that people. was supposed to happen. Yes, that was supposed to happen. Thank you. Go thank, on. you thank you, Queen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, Paula. Right. Miss Paula, I do. You are. And you are bad. And you talk, y'all are asking me questions and interviewing me but oh, I guess you know I mean corrupt your music you know I mean I, I'm, I'm I'm also with brilliance we're sitting here all of us right and Miss Paula god damn this girl you talking about lighting up a camera whoo everything you do is authentic it's raw it's honest and it's it's just wonderful you know, you have such a beautiful talent, sis, you know? And I loved working with you. And it won't be the last. Jesus. I'm putting it in the universe. That's why I had us on here with Rusty Honey, cuz, come on. You ain't crazy. Go to, to Spike Lee. You done done one show, it's time to do the next. That's right. Thank you. Let's That's do right. something. I love That's you right. so much. And I, Jason, I accept and appreciate Jason. that. What you said. You just missed it, Jason. You just missed something that was priceless because you can't buy it. Okay, it's 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 priceless. The original, Almighty. <laughs> okay, Marla Gibbs was just on the whoop wop with her daughter, chopping this game. You dig? You can't buy that. I know. I know. All I could think of when I was looking at her was waiting for my mama to tell me, boy, turn that television down. Turn it down. Because it's ever going to Oh, yes, yes. We sat in front of it. Legs crossed Indian you know. style like this. Yes. Right. right. Stuck. Couldn't wait for her to just start letting George have it. She yes. always let him have it because she let his ass have it. And it was wealthy black people. You know, it was yes. not, I'm not putting anything down on the other shows. We love those. But the Jeffersons was iconic because it was a story about a racist, wealthy, strong black man with a maid who got in that butt like nobody's business. And, right. and you know what else is iconic about the Jeffersons? Uh, Wheezy's best buddy is Lenny Kravitz's mama. Yep. Yep. Six, I talked to Lenny about, I want to say three or four months ago, I was at a restaurant. Somebody came and brought me the phone and said, somebody want to say hi to you. And um, he had said, Angela Gibbs is in the restaurant. And so that's when I realized, oh, Angela Gibbs, oh, people know me. Say so Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> he bring me the phone. He says, somebody wants to say hi to you. It's Lenny on FaceTime. And we just chopped it up. Because let me tell you something. I've got a picture right now that's down here with his mother and his um, dad. Let's see if, I, if it's down here. His Did mother. He J -Lo I T? love Roxy. Oh. Huh? J-Lo T? Any J-Lo T? No. No. Oh. No, I'm sorry. Let's talk about Roxy. Hey, I'm sorry. No, I, 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 I like the Roxy story. I just because you know the word is he he the one that came between J Lo and Rod, whatever his name is. Oh, stop it! Yes, because you know they're doing a movie together, and he was giving her little girl guitar lessons. Now, look, man, look, look. Lenny Kravitz cracked Lisa Bonet. Yeah, he did. He's the man. That other little daughter, Zoe. And Zoe's called. Who's she's right called now me. killing the game. She is. Acting to be one of the next up and coming iconic stars. She plays. So Miss Roxy was a part of your life growing up. She was my aunt. She was, when you called my auntie, she right. was my auntie. 
And her dad, they were so close. You know, they're from the islands. And her dad, would, oh, she loved her dad. He loved her, but he doted on all of us. But she was just so classy. Yeah. You know? Oh my God. Hey, and for y'all to, uh, to know, Emo and Jason, the, the iconic <clears throat> ladies that we're talking about is her mother, Marla Gibbs, from the Jefferson 227, and so much more. And Rox, Miss Roxy. Roxy Roker. I said, yeah, Roxy, which is Lenny Kravitz's mother, who was also in the Jeffersons. She was the one married to a white man. Right, and lived upstairs. That's right, lived yeah. Upstairs, guys, iconicness. Yeah. It's yeah. all in the air right now, damn it. No. I so listen, now I gotta go, but Corrupt, I wanna get the book. I definitely wanna talk about your product. I'm gonna call you, Miss Paula. Thank you for yes, asking we've me gotta, to be we've on. Gotta, we've gotta do two, two, eight. Right. We're gonna do it again. Let's do this I'm again. Gonna be in that one. Yes. Right, I'm gonna All be the bad the originals. Yes. Miss Jack A, you and Miss Jack A doing big things. Keep working. Right. Mom, keep working. God is blessing us all, and I am thankful. Yes. I you keep working thankful. too. That's, That's right. That's my love. You, we're blessed. You know, they say if you stay in line, your turn will come. Yes, ma'am. If ma you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Yes, ma'am. You know, be still and know that I am God. Yes, And I'm not saying I'm all of God. If God is the sun, then we're the rays. So mm -hmm. we're not all of the sun, but we're made of the same stuff. So we have to know that we have the divine source within us to manifest all the things that we want and desire in our in our life. Yes. We must be intentional. We must stay in our joy, forgiveness, and we must be patient, and right? You know what? We ain't the only ones that gotta know some things because this little young tart that you finna go see and have some wine with needs to know that your little cousin will come over there. He's jealous, Mr. Angela, he's jealous. He's jealous. He is jealous. jealous. Do it right. He is jealous. Hey, I can tell he's jealous. Hey, I, gotta be, I gotta be a hey. brother right now. I gotta be another hey, Andrew. I'm, hey, I'm, Andrew. I'm, 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 hey, I'm the bad cousin. I'm the one that come through and beat up all the cousins and family members, boyfriends and shit. I come in there and start starting trouble. Man, who the fuck are you? See, I'm sorry for cussing, but now I'm in my mode. Hey, man, hey, this your friend? Yeah, that's my boyfriend. Okay, why? <laughs> what? what? You are bad. You bad. Will you please come back? And we need yes, you to come please. back and kick that Dr. CB game to us. Because we never okay, got we will. Yes. to this yes. So please come back. All you right. are our queen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. We love you. Love you too. You. Peace and love. Peace and love. Kings and queens. All right. Okay, honey, do you know how to? Okay, right. I'll stop you. Because I know she doesn't know how. Yeah, you know, I'm in my Gotti Hefner right now. You see Gotti Hefner in the building. Hello. Ain't God good, y'all. Oh, boy. Salute, man. Hefner. Salute. Did Can you, you believe that, y'all? We just yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Games. Okay, you that know my ghetto Oprah did make a mistake. We're going to just call the elephant in the room. Yeah. <laughs> I said her boy was dead. I did not mean that, y'all. I meant the other one. But, you know, I'm mama going to get it. I swear I'm going to get it. All hey. right, on to, to other things. <laughs> These two brothers again, y'all niggas here again. Again, again. Earned it. They earned it. They uh, earned, earned it. it. Corrupt. This is what I'm thinking. I know either if y'all either gonna come on here and wreck each other, or we just gonna have to let y'all both be captains of your own crew. And y'all gonna they have might to go, up. A, a, a determine who wins might be the guest on each one of our battle of the woo wops and turn from a guest to a judge. <laughs> but I love them both. I want them both them. like that. Right, so if they both, if they tie on this one, then they'll both be okay, our, uh, corrupt. Be I know we didn't talk about it, and I'm gonna probably have to pitch it a little better. But let's say Emo got a crew and Jason got a crew. And each one got right. three do because on a regular song, both of them could really be on the track. <laughs> like, right. let's be real with it. Both of y'all. Yeah, go for. And speaking of the track, did, 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 did Derek? What's up? Speaking of the track, did Frequency give him a newbie this time? Yeah, because yeah. you stole the first one. Uh -huh. How are you gonna steal the first track? <laughs> 
I borrowed it. Corrupt. That is not a part of the rules. <laughs> I, 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 I borrowed the beat. No, 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 I'm no. I'm going to give it back. Well, I'm hey, look, on it. people like lighters, it's the number one yeah, stolen I'm, thing nowadays <laughs> in the world. If he I'm singing <laughs> the hook. Corrupt, quit playing. I'm singing the what, hook. What, what, what y'all getting in the studio anyway, Miss P? Okay. Hey. All right. y'all getting in the studio? So, y'all don't ready. like that idea? Jason, you got some three six Mafia Memphis like crew like Negroes that be backing you up like. <laughs> You don't have no boys like you would like to bring on and represent you? No friends? Well, I know people who will come in a rhyme, but that, I'm not going to send them to represent me just because I'm a hater. But I'll send I them know anyway. you don't have no friends because you a hater. <laughs> not nobody like you. They will come through and rap because I know I the whole Memphis no young posse has been them. fast and corrupt through Jason to come on and spit their time, shoot their shot. Tangerine, right. baby. So they, they want to come on and and rhyme. We're starting something, guys, with you two that is really appealing to the people. They want to come on and rhyme for Derek Kenzie. And Derek, baby, I had a dream that you were CeeLo. Now, it was either the <laughs> real CeeLo or you were CeeLo. One or the other. I couldn't tell when I was. I remember when. I remember. I remember when. But when I woke up, it was you, and it was like making a whole bunch of tracks, and you was rich, and you was like doing it big, bag. So I just want to put that in in the universe, because you feel me. Three weeks, you've been throwing out bang after bang after bang to the point where Daddy over here stole your beat. So. What do y'all think about emo? Do you have a crew? I know you said you were a singer at one time. Do you have a uh, yeah, guys yeah. that would like to come on and battle? Yeah, of course. They love this opportunity. I can I got some heat. Yeah, so <laughs> see, that's how we elongate two great rappers into a whole season. Mm -hmm. That's like, how that's how no 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 look at look at emo's game, right? So he got his crew and he was like, all right, so I'm finna uh, do my woot wop. They said, oh man, okay, yeah, we coming with you. No, 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 you can't come. You got a little hating in you too, huh? Nah, I, I, no, oh. I, said, I, I, I said, I got people, I got people. <laughs> okay. I got people. Oh, okay, okay, no, 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 y'all okay, cool. Y'all ready? Y'all want to I got some people with some talent. We got 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, Force keeps saying he gonna put the beat on. I don't know why, because each time, Y'all put the beat on. Is it right. better when y'all put the beat on for yourselves? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so they gotta Emo, feel it. They gotta feel it. They gotta feel I think it. Yeah, right. Trying to go for second or who went second first last time? It's, it's Jason. I went, I went first. Okay, Jason, okay. it's your it's turn to go first. Okay. Oh yeah, shout out for that beat too, D. That beat right there is flame. Corrupt don't like this one, right, huh? Uh, I guess I should start now. Okay. Go ahead and hear the beat. Thumbs up if you can hear the beat. Right here. Turn it up. All right. Hold up real quick. Check this audience as soon as I start. This stuff is just par quick regards. The day the softest or the hardest, the dullest, and to this shop, it's hardest and largest. Deep as the palms is burning the shoulders like an arson. No, it's hardest. It is most like that guy It's a rock. This receiver pops like on God's gift. Get you over like a locksmith, fix me watching. Fascinated by my swagness, ain't no stopping. All my jocks, they be flocking, the problems be causal. Fake thug entourages, suckers that's lodging, dodging, weeping and bobbing into the darkness from these lyric barrages. I'll just go short today. Okay, are you ready? Yes, sir. Emo. Uh, mentioned that you sang can we get a little bit of uh, that might help you out if you know put you a little can you spit you know do a little <laughs> something like that or anything here's some cisco mm -hmm.
You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Okay. All right. It's just whatever. Hey. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Here we go. Tell me if y'all can hear it. Is it too loud? Okay. Let me get right then. Yeah. What's good? I feel good today, man. Uh. Shout out to Forum, man. We in this bitch, man. Check it. Check it. Man, I'm off the meter. I feel like a teacher. And them casket fresh on them niggas, minus the preacher. Uh, I don't fuck with too many niggas, most of them leeches. And if you want me on the track, it's 5,000 a feature. Uh, counting them reckes, we serving them peckes. Uh, man, I just whipped up a lamb. Remember, I used to eat spam. Get broccoli just like I'm dram. I'm taxing them like Uncle Sam. I do it the bag way, so I do it the cash way. VVS is hitting, my niggas are spitting image. And I'm balling on them niggas like it's fourth and inches. Blood on my shoes, they just caught a body. She ain't no rappers like I need a potty, but I need a thotty. Designers all over my body, uh, in the farm with the farm with the roof back, in the rave all black like Kodak. Get money, oh yeah, we get two bags. In the shoes I got on cost two stacks. In the shoes you got on cost no stacks, so I can tell right off where you cash it. And I can tell right off where you lack it. Somebody tell the nigga where we get the cash at. I'm getting impatient, these niggas is waiting, they faking, they fucking with me, and I'm waiting, catching them slipping. Pistol grip whipping, keep my name out of your mouth, I won't hit you. Getting the picture, now nigga, you listen up. Niggas ain't fronting no more, we gon' give it up. Niggas ain't paying this fucking thing, do they think that we giving, I living up? Gotta be shitting, the need to be flush. Beat them on side of their head till it's mush. Either by hand or the cannon gon' bust. Cat can go black. Fucking with us, niggas thinking too much about banging with us. Rip out your soul and rip out your guts. Nigga be talking about all kind of shit that ain't got shit to do with me. Getting my shit irrelevant, nigga. Fuck that shit, nigga. Up my shit before I take my shit. Grab on my gun, then I up my shit, then I buck my shit, then it's over, bitch. Fucking with a soldier, bitch. I told you, bitch, to notice this. Slice you with the razors that I use to cut my boulders with. Ha! <laughs> what you talking about? I ain't gonna lie. Woo! That boy, he's going to came to death. Hey. He came to death. <laughs> Jay, he hey. came to death. Hey. You said, hey, that, that beat spoke you to me. All, right, all I can say you is, mute. Hater didn't use any curse words. If anyone noticed, if that's any kind of yeah. plus. That's no, that ain't no plus. <laughs> that's just, he won't okay. That ain't no plus. If that's the case, tell him to start cussing. <laughs> <laughs> That dude ain't okay. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, bro. Hey, that beat five, Derek. I can't lie, man. You brought some heat right there, bro. Yes. Them, them last one was five, too. You know what I'm saying? They all fire, but they Start right hating. There. Say that again. Start hating. <laughs> because I love you, Jason, and I already said, you know, y'all get crewed up. <laughs> yeah. I'm with it. But Emo, you're a star, babe. And it's Appreciate it. the hunger. <laughs> you know, Jay, you already decided that you want to be a teacher and that's it. But it's not it for you. You are a star, too. No, no. He's he, he a teacher. He just taught Emo how to, how to rip him. Right. But <laughs> you're a teacher of the game. Put that back in your rhyme because it you are cold. You are still, yeah, yeah. It's, it's still, it ain't, Emo is a baby. So he don't get that the world is hard. And it don't, you know, Jason, you are, you are the reason why we're doing this show. And you are the reason why we are keeping you. Even though Emo got in that ass. Emo, you're a star, babe. <laughs> And I'm, Thank you, I'm thankful and proud to call you our friend. Oh, man. Salute, man. You know, Salute, man. Keep Shout to y'all. Pushing both of y'all to get it going. And is it just me, Corrupt? What What are your thoughts? <laughs> you got in that ass. <laughs> what? Then bring a knife to a gunfight. You gotta bring a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna add something special to it. How about y'all both lay on that beat and send it in to Derek? That's a bit. 
I got you. And then you get right. on it, and then I sing on it. Exactly. But I right. still you like the it. idea of both of y'all bringing a friend next week, and let's battle that out. Maybe, Jason, if you have one of your friends there, it'll get you hyped, you know? Yeah, let's see, let's, see, let's, see, let's, see, let's, see, let's see who can hate the best. Hey, hey, Corrupt, I gotta I gotta ask you a question, Corrupt. To the table. Ask. I um ha, have have you rapped on a beat with uh Dane, right? Dane Grease, right? Damn skip. That's that was my producer too, bro. So I, I was listening to yeah. I I remember I remember you um was rapping with um on, on a beat, and I was like, damn, that's corrupt and Daz. And he was like, Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. So I, I fussed with Dane the long way. That's my guy, 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 man. Word. You don't know that Dame came from Rough Riders. Facts. I know all about it. That's why when old girl said I rap like DMX last week, I didn't hear it. But I mean, I, it's an honor because, you know, that's where I come influence. from. She felt that touch. Right, right. Yeah. Thank what do you feel? Like? Corrupt. Do you like my yeah, idea yeah. of each of the brothers bringing? Can, can y'all both handle that next week? Can y'all both handle bringing a crew member? I already and get that see one. see how y'all get down. Yeah. Yes, right. Man. Jason, you, you got anything hateful to say? <laughs> well, I think he woke yeah. you up, nigga. Wake your ass up. If that didn't wake you up, wake your ass up. <coughs> Derek? Wake up! Yeah. He, 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 he. Hit you with that shovel to death. So, <laughs> he did that grave for you. <laughs> just let us both, I, let us all know that these two are our peoples. And now we yeah, gonna bring that. in some more peoples to introduce the world to. You, Emo, yeah, bring somebody. Sure. Jason, you right. bring some Memphis somebody. Jason, are you stuck or are you just being a hater? Okay, it's time to go. I love you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Miss Paul, yes, I corrupt. Make sure, you go to, make sure you go to World Star and check yourself out, man. You got over yes. three, 3 million views. What happened? Corrupt, what? corrupt on World Star. On World Star. Tell me yeah, about a new what video. Is it? What is it? A new rap video. He and, he and his um he featured in his video what, with what, two what, other guys. Oh, um, corrupt! You're you're the hottest thing on World Star. You didn't even tell me. <laughs> I, only, I didn't even know. Wait, what happened, Derek? Now you, you know you, how you I felt when you were talking about. Yeah, they got a video. They got a video on World Star. You got a. A new video with two rapper dudes. Um, you rapping in front of the Rolls Royce. Corrupt. We the shit, baby. You the <laughs> shit, especially. He doesn't remember doing it. Exactly. You know what? I can't with y'all. Well, I remember. I can't with my baby. I can't. A lot of work. A lot of work to make it forget. Corrupt. Who is that with baby? Yes. I think so. Derek. Where they flip? We can freak it. Nah, 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 nah. No, it, 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 it's it's two rapper dudes. Um, you you suck it. You rapping in front of Rolls Royce and stuff. It looked like some little young boy with a backpack on rapping, and then you come in. You did twelve bars. Yeah, we just check Paula. We just I gotta check it out. And y'all need to know it's for you. We dedicate every performance we do for you. It exactly. ain't us, it's God. We don't even know what the hell be going on half the dang on time. Waiting for me. Yeah, because he look puzzled. Yeah, he look puzzled. Okay, but <laughs> we thank you all for showing this show love, for showing us love. God sent Derek an inspiration and he put me and Corrupt together. And we want to bring new talent into the world, into the mix. And these brothers going to show you what's up next week. Uh, corrupt Gotti, who's it for? This is for y'all, and we, we love say, y'all. Till next week, love you.